division method of finding LCM. So to find out the lowest common multiple, let us see the method. This is the division method. Let's take one question. Find LCM of 16, 20 and 24. Okay, so these three numbers LCM you have to find out. The first step is write all the given numbers in horizontal line. That is 16, 20 and 24. Separated them by comma. With commas you just separate this. Now divide by shootable number. It exactly divides at least two of the given numbers. So just keep the line in this type. 16, 20 and 24. Any common table that is ex at least two of the given numbers. Uh, Okay, you can take the 2. So 2 is the number. Take the prime numbers. If it is not possible, at least any 2. Now 16, 20 and 24. That is 2, 8, so 16. Keep the comma. 2, 10, so 20 with 2 table only again. And this is a 2, 12. Is 24. Next again, keep the line. 8, 10, 12. Again the table. Yes, 2 is possible. So 2, 4, so 8. 2, 5 is a 10 and 2, 6 is a 12. Now again, if you keep the line, 4, 5, no common table. 5, 6, no common. But 4 and 6, 2 is the common table. Right? So repeat this process until we get the line numbers that are the prime to one another. Now 4 and 6 are divisible by 2. So take the 2. Now 2, 2 is a 4. When it is not possible, 5 is not there in 2 tables. So just write as it is the number. Only if it is a table. Divisibility properties exist. You can write or else write the number as it is. Now 6. That is 2, 3 is a 6. Right. Now we got 2, 5, 3. So 2, comma 5, comma 3. There is no any common. At least 2 should be right. So there is no anything. Then you can stop this now. So that means these are all the numbers you have to multiply. Now the LCM is 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 3. It's complete line. Because 2, 5, 3, there is no any common. At least 2 is also you have to do it. So we have to repeat this process until we get the line of numbers that are the prime to one another. 2, 5, 3. So now the answer is 2 into 2 into 2. These three again continue. 2, 5, 3. 2 into 5 into 3. Just you can multiply these all. The product of all the divisors and the numbers obtained in the last line will be required LCM. So that is 240. Just to multiply. So this way we can find out LCM of uh, finding LCM using this division method. Right. And same way using this uh, division method concept only you will get some other type of questions. I will show an example. Now the question is find like word problems type. Find the smallest number find the smallest number which first one when decreased by one when decreased by one and second question is so increased by three Increased by 3. So it's exactly divisible by the numbers like 21, 45, 63, 81, and 210. Okay. This case is exactly divisible. Okay, so divisible by 21, 45, 63, 81, and 210. So smallest number when decreased by 1 and increased by 3. First you have to find out the LCM for these numbers that is 21 45 63 81 210 this type of questions anything draw write these numbers in horizontal with commas separated with commas and just find out three table we can take directly here three times seven three fifteen sir so three twenty one eighty one no so twenty seven and three seven so twenty one all we got again take 3 table. So 7 is not possible as it is. 3 5 is a 15. Again 3 7 is a 21. 
nine is a twenty seven, and this seventy is as it is. Next, five table because five and seventy is there. So this seven is as it is. Five times one, this seven and nine. So seventy is five fourteen. So next, seven table. So seven one is a one. Nine is as it is. Seven two is a fourteen. So nine and two no common. I can just stop and find out the LCM first by multiplying three into three into five into seven into nine into two. If you all multiply, you get five thousand six hundred and seventy. Now the first question actually, if any number, if you take, if you divisible by, now let's take five thousand six hundred and seventy. If you divide with twenty one, will remain as zero. Take this number and divide with forty five, get remain as zero. Any number among this, if you divides with this number, you get remain as zero. But they are asking which is the smallest number always when decreased by one. So decreased by one means one should increase. So first answer is five thousand six hundred and seventy plus one. That means five thousand six hundred and seventy-one. Now let us take five thousand six hundred and seventy-one. If you divide with twenty-one, now you'll get this uh, remainder is one, decreased by one. Same we'll get on decreasing five six seven one by one. We'll get this right. Previous number is five six seven. We got now. The answer is five thousand six hundred and seventy-one. From this number, if we decrease one. That becomes five six seven zero. Now it's exactly divisible. Now this increased by three. That means take five six seven zero. So minus three. Increase now subtract three. Now five six six seven. This is the required number. Increased by three. So five thousand six hundred and sixty seven. If we increase by three, then you'll get this number. This is exactly divisible. Okay. This is the concept question. So you'll see. And when I was asking, find the smallest number which divided by so and so numbers leaves the no remainder. There's nothing but LCM only. Okay, these are the topics so uh, we can see in this uh, HCF and LCM. And those are watching the first time, you can subscribe to our channel just to go through the topics continuously in order.